So, I'm in the, my favorite spot in the whole junkyard. By a 63 Chrysler Imperial four-door. Now, what's going on with this one, YouTube? Because I know I said I was going to try to get it. Is that it's simply too big. This thing sits right at 20 foot long. It is massive. It is huge. It is massive. I cannot fit this in my garage. I can't. No way. Also, where we live, it's not going to take kindly to me just parking cars in the yard. So, it's kind of looking like I'm not going to get it. However, I'm going to, you know, I, I'm going to graduate fairly soon. And this might just become that in a couple, three, four years, because it's not going anywhere. I can tell you that much. It's a four-door. People don't want the four-doors as bad. Uh, it's been sitting here since 93. I'm thinking for two grand, I might just pick it up later. I'm not at all saying I'm not going to do this car, and I'm, you're probably going to see it a lot in YouTube videos, me walking by it, because I'm going to be here a lot. We're in the Chrysler section right now. But I want it. <laughs> Got the carburetor. Um, so, this is. I'm not saying this is not going to happen. It's just it's not going to happen yet. That's all I'm saying. And I do need to find the keys before I shut the trunk because somebody was poking around in the Imperial and that's not allowed because uh, it's, frankly, it's mine. <laughs> There's the keys. Okay, they didn't lock it. They didn't lock the keys in it. Let me show you the um, dash again because you haven't seen it before, I'm sure. There you go. Got the... Shifting, it's in neutral for some odd reason. Should be in park. It's in neutral right now. Uh, that's, I think, AC. Yeah, that's AC. Radio. This amazing power steering. Steering wheel. I gotta love this thing. Ignition, that's your key switch right there. Um, power antenna, so that's something with radio. Lights, wipers. Really neat. Blinkers. Um, the 60 twos were quite neat but they're different some information about a carburetor but yeah very neat very neat <clears throat> still haven't popped the hood yet that's the one thing i've yet to do and if i do i will make a video on me popping it <clears throat> just casually shut these doors as forth not to lock keys Yes, this Imperial, it's just, I don't have room. Plain and simple is what it is. I can't, I don't have anywhere to put it. Need some WD-40 on the trunk latch. But I very much like it, and it's, this is the worst rust on the whole car, right there. There's a hole in the floorboard, which I can patch. There's that hole, which I think I can patch as well. That's not, that's surface, it's not bad. Still haven't seen in the trunk, though. Uh... This is moist, but it's solid. It's all solid. This is rust, but it's surface once again. It's it's not that bad off. That's not terrible. This door opens. It's just locked. Um, but yeah, very neat stuff. Very neat stuff. While we're over here, I might as well take you this way. Uh, the laser's right up yonder. Furies. Gotta, I gotta love Furies. Uh, there's a wagon I want to show you. Um, that's the car the carburetor came out of, that one at the beginning of the video. It's assuming that I put this in a video. Uh, I am looking for a green station wagon. Which is, there it is, I see it. Also, for any of you uh, people that actually lived in the 70s and 80s, I have a question. I didn't live in the 70s and 80s. Here it is. Now this is a cool car. Just a big old Plymouth station wagon. It's not in the best of shape. The door is locked. This one opens. But uh, very neat, just huge. Decent paint. No front rim, obviously. I love how the window rolls down on this one. I wish mine did. The window comes down. Just a big cool station wagon, quite like it. But my question is, a lot of these station wagons have these little quote-unquote spoilers that put the air down. 
did they make any aftermarket stuff like that that I could possibly find to fit the Escort? Because that'd be kind of neat on the back there. I don't want anything that looks stupid, but just something like that. Not really sure. A lot of these wagons have it. There's one over here that has one as well. Uh, that wagon doesn't have it. Um, I don't know if I can find it, honestly. Not offhand. That wagon has a really cool interior. Look at the, look at the dash on that. And it's just different. What is this? It's a LTD Ford. What is it Ford I'm doing over here? This is the Plymouth and Chrysler. But yeah, there's also a cool old Suburban over here I might show. Um, lots of cars, so many cars. I've not seen everything and I've been here, geez, probably like, I don't know, 16 hours. Not all in the same day. See, there's another spoiler like I'm talking about. This is a Woody. Chrysler, what is this? Chrysler something or another? Is this the Suburban? Yeah, here it is. Interesting to see what the old ones used to be. You ask me, this is way better than a modern Suburban. Take this any day. Some old Bel Airs. It's actually a 70 Charger we've been pulling parts off of over here. Point that out for one fellow in particular. I know he likes some Charger miles. <laughs> There's a couple chargers. There's actually a pretty decent one under the shed, but uh, right there. Anyway, just thought I would uh, point out the uh, what's going on with the Imperial and then ramble on like I always managed to. Well, with a little bit of help, we got the doors, all four doors, the trunk, and the hood off. Well, open, rather. Uh, crowbar fixed all the doors. Um, this locks mechanisms are stuck. Well, not stuck. They're real sticky. I need to bring some penetrating lubricant. Because, like I said, I'm probably not going to get this one very soon. But, I want to, you know, I can do little tiny things. Um, the keys, found them. Got this door open. Tell me this thing doesn't look good. And I'm getting a low battery message. Sorry about the finger. Low battery. Uh, so yeah, and the other door opens as well. This one's always opened. You've seen it open a million times. This one has not, but it does now. Also, there's a whole bunch of information about the car, where it was bought, what year it was sold the second time, in the glove box I found. Now, the hood, uh, the linkage is broken from in there. So, what I did, or actually my friend suggested it, that maybe this hood lifts from the back. I didn't think it did, but there was a possibility. So, we tried it, but they had the mounts off because they, when they pulled the engine out, so, we slid the hood over a little bit to where it was like kitty wampus, and then we were able to get a, it was actually a throttle linkage off of this car. Um, it was just laying in the engine bay. It's a uh, Monaco. It's pretty cool. It has power seats. Good looking car. But, um, got it in there, slid this off to the side, the latch came off, and the hood came off. As you can see, the engine is out of it, but I've said that before. Um, tranny's still in it, all hooked up. Still has brakes, which is good. Uh, they don't have the radiator still in it, but they have the condenser for it. I mean, there's lots of stuff missing, yes, but at the same time, there's still power steering. The wheels, the steering wheel still does turn, by the way. I can turn the wheels. I've spun them a little bit to get under here. Um, but yeah, it's overall, well, I mean, there's, it's pretty darn solid. It's not bad. Shocks still work, and... The thing, all the tires still hold air. I just got to uh, find a place to put this thing because I'll be darned if I'll let it just sit here and rot. It's unacceptable. All the hubcaps and all that. Torque converter off of it. Gas tank, another door panel. But yeah. Let me give you a good shot of the interior. This is really turning into an imperial video. Got all the switches for the driver's side over there. Vents, radio, 
glove box with all the info in it. Still got the ignition key. Ooh, a wrench. Come here, wrench. For wrench, that's kind of odd. Let's go to the driver's side, eh? Push button transmission, window adjusters, the uh, AC slash heating, ignition, power antenna, I believe, is that what that was about? Wiper lights, all sorts of good times. But that's it for the Imperial today. YouTube found a replacement carburetor for my Slant 6. It's a bit used. Uh, but completely salvageable. Minor rust, possibly some fire damage, but it seems all right to me. Um, yeah, it's just overall, it's in great shape, and it'll it'll do me good. It really will. I'm over here by the Imperial. I'm sure, you all know that. And uh, yeah, so replacement carburetor for the Slant Six. Okay, YouTube, here at the uh, junkyard, and I thought I would show you where I'm getting my Escort parts. And I found this little thing, which is an 85 Escort uh, GL, I believe. Where are you? Yeah, GL, Escort GL. And I've just been pulling bits off of it. Um, still need to take those two center caps. Thinking about getting the head, I've already pulled quite a few just little bits and bobs. I uh, pulled the trim rings off. Um, here's the engine bay, uh, not much to say, I took some random stuff, I, uh, the intake, the plastic intake, the, uh, EFI stuff, there's the, um, intake manifold, the cold air intake is what I was talking about, um, not, not too much to say, I just did the timing on mine, engine mount's better than mine was though, it's offensive. But yeah, this is the one I've been pulling bits off of. Give you a little bit more of it. Looks like it was parked in a uh, 97. Because this one, uh, it, it blew a head gasket, is the story on it, something like that, and then they scrapped it. And I plan to pick up this dash as well and do a little trick with it, but uh, don't worry, it's not being bolted straight in. But it's, um, doesn't have the center console like mine. It doesn't have the, uh, the package. Has the basic radio. Mine doesn't. That's why I haven't pulled that radio. Um, has the AC. Uh, has a working parking brake, which makes me sad because mine doesn't work. Um, has a tack. And how many miles did it have on it? Wait, that's the wrong one. There you go. There's the mileage. Not too much to say. It's a two-door, obviously. And, uh... Yeah, I mean... It is what it is. Here's the uh, head. These are little hemis, these things. It's the head. Way cleaner than mine, I'll give it that. I'm thinking about picking up this head and maybe porting and polishing it because I'm eventually going to plan on doing a... Um, uh, looks like it's managed to dump all of the lifters. Oh, that's that's great. That's absolutely great. Because it was sitting back here and someone flipped it. Well, no, one stayed in. That's just great. Maybe I won't be getting that head. I don't know. I don't know how they go in. Um... But, yeah, just random bits and bobs I've been pulling. It's an Escort GL. Ooh, I didn't see that before. I wonder if it has a bee's nest. It does not have a gas cap. The seat's flipped up like mine does. Uh, the trim isn't really compatible, it's the wrong color as well as the wrong model, 
But I have been getting a few things off. Anything interesting in here? No, it's title papers. Key. Key. But, uh, yeah, what can I say? Roof has some holes in it. But, uh... This one isn't rusted out like mine. It's not fair. But, yeah, all well and good. But this is where I've been pulling bits from. Um... Can I get that to... Can I be all cool and get that to do it without my hand? Probably not. I'm gonna have to help it. <clears throat> but there you go. That's the escort I've been pulling bits off of. And I'm here at my favorite junkyard. Uh, there's actually... I'll walk over here and show you. A pretty cool Ford Pinto. There's two of them. Everything's from here. Uh, the Imperial here as well. I have not seen everything, and I've been here like all day for three times. There's a Mark I uh, Mustang. There's a couple of these here, about five. Oh my gosh. No, they're mine. They're going on the Escort. Uh, well, I'm going to have to kill him later. Are they your horns? I don't know about that. Well, uh, it looks like, sorry, I was getting bit. But it's a, uh, yeah, it's an old Ford Pinto. And someone is trying to take my air horns over there. It is that I'm done. They're mine! Yep, old Ford Pinto. I quite like these. There's another one over yonder. They're still my air horns! Here's an old Civic, really old Civic, quite like this. I'll probably try to get it if it wasn't in such bad shape, just because of what a Civic is now. But this is an old, old Civic, really neat stuff. What are you doing with my air horns over there? Was this the other Pinto? I think that was it over there. Yeah, this was it, wasn't it? This is it. Yep, Ford Pinto. Here's another Pinto, different model. With a uh, very unhappy door. It's not coming. But uh, yeah, YouTube, more videos to come on this place. Just thought I'd show you the Escort. And uh, my air horns on top of this RV over there. No. Well, YouTube just found a whole car full of antique electronics, but look what I found in this one that I have been told I can take. TV. Now, we accidentally had one casualty. A tube similar to this died, which hurts me because I love vacuum tubes. Um, he's all over the floor, poor guy. But regardless, I want it because of that massive flyback. Look at the size of that thing. That's huge. Here's the power transformer. Got a little bit more work to get it out, but it's an RCA Victrola. Uh, what is it? Is there anything more specific? Not really. It's a massive color TV. There you go. Oh, no, vacuum tube, you can't do that to me. But yes. All good, all good. This is a bus full of blocks and whatnot. There's a big block or two back there. But anyway, I'll get this out. All right, YouTube. Here it is. It's out. Did a little bit of mangling getting it out, but this TV is in a junkyard, and I probably... I well, know I'm not taking this home. I could come back for the speakers later, I suppose, but it all depends. It's all good. I've got the chassis. Now, just look at the size of this here something, I don't know, it was sitting on that. This massive flyback. That is giant. Now, I know it's in a box, but still, this thing is... There's something special in there. I don't know what this is, but it goes straight from the flyback. Um, if nothing else, just the tubes. That's the one that died, the tube that died. Um, there's your main power-in transformer. 
wiring harness for the uh, tube. We're missing a tube here. Did not have that one. This tube must be some sort of rectifier. I imagine both of these are. Um, yes, some sort of these two are rectifiers. Some filter or these caps. I can't know. These are uh, transform. I can't remember what those are. There are F something, R E something. It's been a while since I've played with radios. But uh, yeah, I got another cute little transformer. Uh, but yeah, I got the uh, TV out. So let's uh, let's get to it. Back at the junkyard. Well, I suppose I never left, and uh, I found an '85 Chrysler Laser. I've actually found this car before. I have a friend that kind of wants to buy it, but uh, it's only 300 bucks. It's the turbo model. Popping the hood. I can remember how. Yeah, turbo model. It's not in bad sh well, It's not in great shape, but it's not in bad shape. Steering wheel solid. I mean, that's probably some of the worst. The back roof is falling down, but these roofs always fall. Real neat looking car, though. Really neat. 300 bucks ain't bad. Um, got buckets in the back, which I just thought was hilarious. Shoot, if I didn't already have an Escort, the 70, and maybe the Imperial, if I can get my way, I might consider it. Real neat, real neat. Laser. Oh, that one's locked. I forgot. I keep forgetting to unlock it. Now, let's see if I can't pop the hood for you. What do you think? Should we buy a laser? For the right price, we should. Yeah. Which is like... Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get that. Ugh, I can't leave that. That AC compressor's gotta go. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just added weight. Sucking horsepower. You don't buy this to drive fast. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah. Anyway, but uh, six, or 85 rather, Chrysler Laser. So I found two interesting cars right next to each other. An old Corolla, put my crowbar down, and a Datsun. And a tree, a small tree. Here's the Corolla. Don't know what year, don't know anything about it, but it's just an old Corolla. Which is cool. I work on a lot of Corollas. 80s ones. My Nova was a lot like a Corolla. And here's a Datsun. Um, just two neat cars next to each other. Oh, it has a great window camping job on it, doesn't it? Yeah, just an old Datsun as well. Just thought I would throw them out there. I was walking back. I unfortunately lost the air horns, did not get on top of the RV in time. But, uh, I think I found... Well, I think I found a high voltage transformer. Um, it's out of a massive color TV. It's a real old one, wood cabinet. And uh, it, um, it has x-ray warnings all over the side. It's about the size of a uh, uh, motorcycle battery. It's obviously oil cooled, totally worth pulling. So I need to go see how much they want for that. Uh, this is what the air horn came out of. Not the best. The roof, when you're laying on a roof, it's best that the roof not fall through. Because, uh, it well, it did. But, look at the engine in this thing, actually. That would be kind of cool to pull and put in a car. Huge. Getting a low battery warning, imagine that. But this is the Fords, uh, as well as a Volkswagen. Uh, Chrysler Dodge is up there. Chrysler Dodge. The 50s cars, if there are any, are over there, and the imports kind of live over there, if there are any. And the Imperial is located smack dab over there. But uh, lots of goodies. All the buses are filled to the brim with engine blocks and rear diffs and transmissions and what have you. And there's a bus up here, if my battery will last that long, that has a goodie in it. Uh, it's actually a van, not a bus. So I thought I'd show it to you. 
There's the only 90s car on the entire lot. Someone was pulling parts and it died and they just left it. Air compressors. Something to consider. But uh, YouTube, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go take some footage of the Imperial, pull a flyback, and uh, see about buying that little Carby too. Okay, YouTube, I'm getting me a new toy. No, it's not the car. This is a 72 Dodge Dart. Uh, no title. Rusted out. It was originally a vinyl top. It took a hit to the side. The door's rusted out there. Interior's in a bit of shambles. I'll show more off of that later. But, still got a badge. I am getting this. That's right. Slant 6. I figured I needed to get to the point where I can rebuild engines, although I think I could, I just never have. And uh, this one came up for a good price. So I'm going to get this here, Slant 6. Got to pull it out of the car. I already have everything out, but I got to train. I'm also getting the transmission. I'm going to try to rebuild the automatic transmission. Um, but yeah, it has spark. And the carburetor is actually just been rebuilt. It just won't run, and these engine slant sixes aren't as popular as the eights. So there, it's it's pretty much being well. The whole car is being scrapped. It's uh, getting parts. They bought this one to get front end parts for that duster right there. It's a '74 Duster Plymouth. Uh, but yeah. She's a bit grungy, but she's not locked up. She has spark. The carburetor is clean. I honestly think it's something with timing or it has real bad rings. It isn't a leaker. It might start leaking when I start running it. But I have all the engine bits there in the car. I just got to pull the engine and then take it. But I'll show you the car because someone might like it before it since gets sent off. It'll be sold either to the scrappies or maybe someone can pull some more panels off of it. I don't know. This panel's alright. Get up in the car. How many miles? Where is that on this one? Ah, I see it staring me right in the face. I don't know if that's turned or not. Probably not. Had AC. Has a radio. Um... It's an automatic, like I said. The interior is uh, not the best. Trunk is completely rusted out. Random bits and bobs laying all about. That window shattered. For some odd reason, the roof is still solid. That's never solid on cars like this, but it actually is. No springs in the trunk. But yeah, pull on the engine. 